So before I put this in, you can see here, here's where the motor hook's on. I got this apart in seconds, like 30 seconds. Here's the cabin, here's the front nose piece. You can see this just locks in these places here and then this screws in to hold the front on. And I'm ready to go to the river. We'll get back, I'll show you me putting it together and we'll do the first test run. Later. I'll show you how to put the nose cone on here. If you have any questions, if you have one of these, you order one. If you have any questions, just email me or put something in the description. Um, I have a pretty good understanding of how this goes together. Here we go. And this screws in and there's a tool, there's a wrench. You can see that's all it takes to put the front nose cane on. I'm gonna get the motor out and we'll put it on now. Hold on. All right, you can see I got the motor compartment on here now. See how easy this is. This is just taking minutes to do this out of the truck. No trailer. Um, fits right in the bed of the truck. It'll also fit in the bed of a car. And now, see that hook's on there, but I got to take this off. And I got to hook up all the components. They plug right in here. Um, where's the other? Okay, that's all done. Now we come up into here and get the fuel on. Let me get it see here, hold on. And the fuel line snaps in right here. You push down this little thing. Now we're all set on that. We got to hook up the other components here, under here, right in this spot. And they are right out of the truck. We are set to be on the water within five minutes. So I'll go park the truck and we'll launch this bad boy. Later. See the little wrench it comes to it. This is how it, the motor bolts to the main cargo section. You uh, do these by hand and get them threaded and then you just tighten them real quick. It takes about, I don't know, 45 seconds to get these bolted. And after we do this, everything will be secured and we'll be ready to uh, get out on the water. You can, I'll even show you, you can take off the jet propelled too. It just unhooks here and this slides right out. So if you want to carry it, it takes another I don't know, this weighs 20 pounds probably. It takes another 20 pounds off. It's got the the bar going up with the threaded gears on it for it to run from the engine. Um, and all of this just hooks, all of it comes apart real easy. This thing's awesome. Well, I'll show you back on the water. You can see it here. Later.
sets. I'm just kind of stretching my legs. I went all the way up a creek in New Mertonsville. Um, check the motor over and stuff i don't have a sifter or nothing i'm not really looking for airheads i was just kind of looking at some beaches to see if i saw any glass to see if i could find a dump i haven't been on this stretch but i don't you can see the ground looks horrible it's all mudded in and stuff um i haven't seen any glass or nothing just wildlife but i'm not gonna look much i'm just i just wanted to run this i'm gonna go to places where i know there's stuff instead of just farting around out here i'll take a trip it's a holiday weekend so basically what i'll do is wait till the mid next week and start going out in the kayak a bunch and looking for airheads all day on places that i haven't been for 30 years that i know are loaded dump already it's probably up in the bank here right there's a piece of a crock where where's the rest of it over here here's another piece of it it's a glazed stoneware crock it would have been nice um, I saw some say old blue glass it's got a real nice blue tint to it it's got bubbles in it so just being able to move around look right there it looks like maybe a blob it's not a blob, but that's old. It's a cork top, and there's no seam on it. Uh, let's see if we see anything else here. I've already got onto a place. There's, I haven't seen any flint or nothing. See, there's glass everywhere in here. Here's another piece. Yep, right here's a bottle. Huh. Didn't have any embossing, that's not real old, but it's 1940s or 30s. You can tell by looking at it from digging on dumps. Right there's another piece of a crock. That's a salt glazed one with blue on it. Could be anything here. Yeah, there's another bottle right there. A couple. There's definitely a dump here someplace. You know, nothing I want. This is a federal law whiskey. One pint, it's got that weird top on it. I'd say it's from the 40s, late 30s to 40s. It's kind of got that art deco look to it. It ain't bad, but I ain't taking it. I did find a little flake off the manufacturer and I walked right by this. There's an old horseshoe. That's a nice one. I'm going to take it. There's older glass here. This says something weeds. W-E-E-D-S something. And it's cork and it's turning purple bus to do that would have been a good fun see there's pieces of glass here right there's one it's old see here's another piece there's definitely old stuff here and I'll be able to come back this is just a new spot to look look at all this glass right in here there's a mason lid there's a base off something right there it's definitely break but that's old too that's a base off a big mason jar. Uh, there's definitely some stuff here. So this is another place I can come and get fines for video. See, there's more old glass and it's all coming out of the bank. It's up in here someplace. So we'll come back when it dies down this fall, the weeds and I should be able to find some stuff. This is great. Here's another old bottle there, it's blue. 
Wonder what that was. Looks like it would have been nice. See, there's all kinds of glass in here. Here's something. Oh man, this has a slug plated. Oh, that's a slug plated beer, probably. It's aqua. Oh man, that stinks. I'd have liked to have that. I'm gonna find some nice bottles up here. This stuff's just laying out. There's stuff here. See, there's roofing slate. There's a dump here somewhere. I'll just have to find it this, this winter. See, there's another old bottle. There's a lot of glass in here for on the river. A lot. Here's another bottle. Right here's something else. Man, that looks old. Look at how thick that base is on that, and it's turning purple. That's early 1900s. Uh, there's a top of a crown top that's green, and that's old as heck. I'm starting to get onto a main concentration of it here. Look at all the... That's a pint whiskey. See, look at this. This is what you want to say. For sure. There is definitely a dump here. First trip out, within 45 minutes, I found a dump. See, there's glass everywhere in here. That's the bottom of a soda. There. It's probably an old straight-sided cake or something. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back here in the fall and look at this bank. You can't see nothing because it's all grown up. There's definitely a bunch of stuff to see. There's metal in here. Uh, well, I'm going to get out of here because I want to go home and get my kayak cleaned up. It runs good, so I'll see you on the next one. Later. out here it all comes apart with this and I'll have this in the back of my truck and on the way home quicker than I can get a boat on a trailer it takes it'll take me two minutes tops later <laughs>